to the hotel we go. Wow, I just passed the hotel. Man. Okay. Oh, wow. Not just you, gave him Monokuma too. Wasn't that a surprise? Okay, well. <sighs> Man. Chucky, I. I had faith in you. Why did you do this to me? You're so obviously the murderer. <laughs> You're so obvious. Jesus. Man. Uh, Hajime. What's this? Oh my. You want to go inside Nagito's room too? What are you gonna do? I was just listening to Chiki's request. She wanted me to unlock the door to Naito's cottage because she really needs it for a class trial. She begged me to do it while she was licking my black eye. Um, I, I didn't do that. Boy, then do it! It's sweet because it's made out of black bean paste. Hey, we don't have time to mess around. Hurry up and open the damn door. Fine. Fine. I guess I have no choice. I just gotta do that, right? Now then. Now then. Creek. Bye -bye. See, I opened the door. You can freely investigate it now. This isn't my first time seeing that, but why does the door open with a spell like that? It's not... It's not a spell, you idiot. And by the way, why are you saying this out loud, Hajime? Perhaps. Maybe the cottage key is computerized. There you go, Cheeky. Hey, hey. More importantly, let's go inside now that the door is open. Yeah, you're right. Oh! Wow! I forgot about that! That Monomi wanted us to find her fucking precious treasure box. So, Nagato was living here. What was he thinking- uh, what was he thinking inside this room? What was he feeling as he spent his days here? I can't even imagine. Wanted to see absolute hope, becoming in despair so he could act and step in stone after the rest of us? No matter how much I think about it, I just don't understand him at all. I don't even know if he tr or if he truly believed that. Why did I stutter? I'm god damn it. He was especially weird these past few days. What changed him? Maybe the clue to that might be hidden here as well. What is this music that's playing right now? That's new. Okay. Well, found Manobi's uh treasure box. A fancy looking treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights is totally standing out. Uh, could this be? Can you let me know if you find my treasure? It's a magnificent treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights. Perhaps. This, tr that treasure box? Chiki, you know about that? Yep. It's really cute. Oh. It's... Hmm. Yeah. I guess. I guess that's your reaction. Or did you stutter for a moment because you had to think of something to say? Hmm. Evil. Look at how evil you are. Uh, this looks like Monomi's stolen treasure box. If this is here, that means the thief Monomi was talking about it was Nagito. But why would Nagito steal this? In order to find out, it might be good to see what's inside. Is this gonna be okay? It looks a little dangerous. It might be, but it could be some kind of clue, you know? If this wasn't important, Nagito wouldn't have stolen it from Monomi in the first place. I turned back towards the treasure box and, cur and curiously opened the lid. Inside, there was a notebook. This is it? Why is the notebook inside the treasure box like this something important? I took the note out of the treasure box and began uh, leafing through it. It contained sloppy drawings as if they were drawn by a child and entries that looked like chicken scratch. Day one, I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and things turned bad. Day two, Bayakia is the leader and a lot of things happened today so everyone's tired. Is this a diary? Um. Looks like it. Did Monomi write these? Probably. These pictures, these pictures and entries totally suit her. I keep flipping through the pages. Day 3, day 4, day 5, page after page, poorly written entries continued in the notebook. I don't really understand, but it looks like there aren't any clues here. And right when I was about to give up, my hands only stopped on entry titled Day 16. Day 16. We've been in the funhouse for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go to the final dead room today. He's probably panicking because no one believes him. Huh? Hey, hey. Hajime, did something happen? It's nothing. Stop it! 
Uh, stop. Don't look at my notebook. Whoa. From out of nowhere, Monomi suddenly appeared and took the notebook out of my hands. I forgive you. Ew. I did ask you to look for my treasure box, but I never say you were allowed to peek inside. Jeez. I was close. If you had any later... If, you had, if I haven't come later, he would have seen the inside of the notebook. <sighs> Unfortunately, you were a little too late. But if this notebook is here, then Naito was the thief. No. Betrayal! I was betrayed by my beloved student. Hey. hey, that notebook, it's pretty much your diary, right? The diary? Um, it seems that way. That's right. This is my important diary where all my maiden maiden secrets are written. Hey! Hey, you're a, wait, hey, hey, you're a liar. What? Wh what? You will show up out of nowhere. Why you? Manomi, it's not good to lie, you know. Why? I'm gonna assume that's not a diary, but more of a record of her of her monitoring us. Cause it I, I find it weird. She saw Hajime try to go to the final dead room, but the only person who actually stopped him was Chiyaki. So she never said anything about that. <laughs> There's no way you wrote in that notebook. After all, Minomi can't even write. Huh? But what are you saying? Jeez, I can write letters easily. I, I can finally write the letter B. No, you can't. Because you have no fingers on your hands. <laughs> but Bullseye, I know because I'm the same way too. Huh? Are you mad? Are you angry that I exposed a weakling like you? So, that's what this is about. You're seriously trying to crush me. What are you saying? Huh? What are you saying? There's no way a big brother would ever crush his little sister. It looks like the time to settle things between us is getting closer every second. Hey, I don't know why you're getting so serious, but what's Monokuma said? Uh, but is what Monokuma said true? Huh? You said you didn't write in that notebook. Is that true? If so, who wrote in it? Uh, well, you know, it was. Uh, uh how should I? Um. Excuse me. Hold up. Damn it. She totally ran away again. Yep. The same pattern as usual. Looks like it's a waste of time to try and get answers from her. But still, I really want to ask her about what, what was in the notebook. Well, actually, it might be better that I didn't ask her. Wait a minute. Could the notebook possibly belong to... Wait a minute. Nah, I was going to say it might have belonged to Chiaki, but that's a little far-fetched. Maybe it did belong to Chiaki. Hmm. Okay. Well, is that it here? Oh, still some things we need to do. I guess, like, talk to Chiaki. I'm, I'm sorry, there's a refrigerator. Huh? Nice, my cottage doesn't even have a refrigerator. I wonder where he got it from. Naito probably supplied it himself. Why would he go to the trouble of putting a refrigerator in his room? Does he really enjoy cold drinks? As I talk with Chiaki, I open the refrigerator out of curiosity. What, Monokuma's special poison? What the fuck, for poisoning use only? Eh, uh, there really isn't much inside. The only thing in the refrigerator was a brown bottle. Ah, for someone who likes cold drinks, it doesn't look like he's stocked very much. But the bottle clearly isn't a drink, right? Really? Looks like some kind of d dietary supplement to me. Protein powder, maybe. I took the brown bottle out of the fridge and started reading the label. Exclusively made for poisoning someone to death. D d hey, this is... Yeah, looks like it's poison. P poison Looks like there was a warning label on the back. Let's examine it in a little more detail. But be careful with the bottle, don't drop it. Stop it, if you worry me like that, I'm gonna get nervous. I grabbed the bottle with my trembling hand and began reading the, uh, reading the warning label on the back of the bottle. Poison made specifically for killing someone is Monokuma's special poison. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect, and takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Though its volatility is low, this liquid... Yeah, I read that right, volatility is low. This liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. In a, ga in a gaseous state, this is heavier than air. It breaks down in minutes. It's suitable to hydrolysis. Hydrolysis? What? 
So, if it's possible for you to poison someone to death without any any complications, uh, keep keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. Oh, I get it now. <sighs> yeah, I get it now. It wasn't oil inside of the fire grenades, it was the fucking poison. And that's probably why Monokuma didn't want us to go inside, because Chiyuki would have... Well, I say Chiyuki, because I'm pretty sure it's Chiyuki at this point. Chiyuki would have definitely uh, killed more than one people. More than one people? One more person? And I'm going to assume, although this sounds very brutal... The cause of death for Naito was probably the in was in him inhaling the smoke of the poison from the fire. Mm. This sure does look like a chemical made slowly for poisoning someone to death. This refrigerator must be kept for the poison secure. But where did Naito get something like this? That question could apply to the bomb he used at the hotel too. Apply to the See? bomb? There should be a reason Naito was able to obtain such dangerous items. The octagon inside the funhouse. This poison, he must have brought it with him from from there too, right? He was probably hiding them somewhere on his body during the last class trial. He was hiding a bomb and poison during the class trial. Jeez, how dangerous. What would, have, uh, what would he have done if he accidentally tripped and broke the bottle? Just thinking about it scares me. Also, he already blew up the bomb he took with him at the, lo uh, the lobby. But what about the poison, huh? See? Looks like the bottle was less than half empty. Yep. My theory's correct. And if my theory's correct, everything is pointing to Chiaki. <sighs> was it like this from the beginning? Or did Nagato use it? If so, where did he use it? I wonder if there was still a trap somewhere that hasn't been sprung yet. Uh, another trap? Perhaps. For example, maybe he was trying some kind of trap using the poison before he died. If that actually exists, it would be really bad. It could potentially kill everyone on this island. Everyone on this island? What the hell? Naito, are you still trying to make us suffer? Are you still trying to make us suffer even after you died? Okay. So, there's a secret Monokuma in here. I will take that. No! So are we done here? Are we finished? God damn it, what what do you want from me? Guess we'll talk to Chiaki. Hi. The basic layout no, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna talk to Chiaki. There we go. Mm. Our time for investigation is winding down. The bookshelf might take some investigation. We should try oh, okay. Bookshelf? Cool. There's a lot of books arranged here. Did Nagato bring these from the library? In addition to the books, there are a bunch of random crap stuffed onto the shelf. Um, it might take a lot of time for us to thoroughly go through that stuff. Hey, hey. Let's just leave it for later. Yeah, agreed. Hmm. Okay. What about this here? This this container? Nope. Bookshelves. Bed. If the bed comes with the cottage. Yeah. Hey, hey. Maybe there's something hidden under his bed. His usual place for hiding spots. Yeah, like porn. Well, we should still... I... <laughs> Who hides porn under the bed, fucking idiot? If you're gonna hide porn, obviously put it in a flash drive and then store it in a secret compartment of your dresser drawer. Duh. Or dresser drawer, as, as some people like to say. I'm from New York, so we say drawer. With no exceptions, and without thinking, I peeked under the bed and, hmm, something here. There's a plastic bag from Super Mario. It looks like there's something inside. What the fuck is this? Um. Looks like a gas mask and rubber gloves. Looks like it's a real deal. Did you get these from the military base? Gas mask and rubber gloves. He was hiding these under his bed. What did Naito use this stuff for? Gas mask and rubber gloves has been added to Drupalit. Hot. Don't say that, Chiaki. You know I like it when you say my name like that. She's like, Hajime. It's like really cute. It's cool. I like it. Hajime. 
But you're such a, you're such the murderer. You're so the culprit. You're a fucking murderer. Ne never have I ever looked in those eyes and seen pure evil. Mainly because they were pink and I like the color. God damn it. Hunch me. There was some. There was. Uh, there was anything else under the bed? Mm, let's see. I peeked under the bed once again and started looking around the area. I found a supermarket bag and oh, there's a small piece of paper on the floor. A piece of paper made from blue aluminum. A round thin piece of aluminum, hmm. or aluminium, as some people like to say. It's simple, uh, similar to those steel. Wait, what? Similar to those seals that go over jars of unopened mayonnaise. I get what you're saying, but does that mean this is a piece of trash? Ah, uh, who knows? It might be too soon to decide that. Okay. Piece of blue paper has been added to the troop. Well, what the fuck was the? What would the blue paper have to do anything? Are we done? Are we done here? God damn it, Naito! How much shit do you have in your room, man? Seriously, what do you want me to do? Check your fucking bathroom? It's an instructor, blah, blah blah. Looks like there's no clues. Cool. She said save the bookshelf for later. Do I look at it now? There's a lot of books. The genres of types of items are random. Blah blah. Oh wait, no, it's different now. Oops. Uh, they say a shelf is a mirror that reflects a person's heart. Do they now? I definitely don't know uh, much about Naito, but just by looking at this. So what should we do? It'd be real difficult to look through all these piles. Uh, that doesn't mean we should ignore it though. Yep. I'll leave it to you then, Hajime. Wait, what? Um. It's better if the boy goes through another boy's things, you know? There might be private stuff there. Well, that might be true, but... So, I'll leave the shelf to you. I think I just got persuaded into doing this without realizing it. I sighed and walked towards the shelf. One by one, I started removing the various books and items and, and examining each one. But even as I examined them carefully, there were still a bunch of random books and items. There's no way there were any clue here. Oh. Is Chiki watching? Because I would just hide that. Huh? Well, that fight wasn't the only one I received from Makuma. Here's another one. That's the seal. Indeed. This is school this is school badge of Hotspeed Academy. Does I have information about the stolen memories? Unfortunately, I couldn't find any clue about that. This file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's. Naito said this only contains information about me, but is that really true? If I look at this, it should be obvious, right? And he said I was from the reserve department and had no talent whatsoever. That might be another one of his lies too. I opened the file and I had my hand I had in my hands to confirm. Intensely I realized something was strange. If this really uh if this really a uh, fuck. If this really has only my information, then why? Why is the file so thick? Why is it so thick? As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me. Just as I thought, Naito had lied to me. Aside from my information, there was information about the others, Kazuichi, Fuyuhiko, Akane, and Sonia. And everyone who died had pages of information about them too. The file contained the information of all 16 of us. Only my information? My ass! I can't believe he makes such a strange lie. So that means the rest of this might be a lie too. I turned the page containing my information and began reading through the contents. The profile contained basic information such as my date of birth, my height, my weight, and so forth. But there was one thing that specifically caught my eye. The words, Reserve Course Student. There was no denying it. It confirmed that I truly was a Reserve Course Student from the Reserve Department. Why is this the only thing that isn't a lie? Why, why am I the only one who's from the Reserve Department? Why am I here with all the other Ultimates? Hey, hey! did something happen? Uh, well, I just found a strange file. Huh? Isn't that the special prize Nagato received when he cleared the final dead room? As I recall, your student profile should be in here. It's not just my profile. The profile of everyone on this island here, uh, is here too. Nagito was lying. Huh? When you say everyone, do you mean everyone? Yeah, just basic information, but there should be profiles for all 16 of us. Can I take a look at that file? GQ leaned against me and peered into the file. You're right. 
My profile is really in here. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details? Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. If it's not written in there, these profiles might have been written before we entered the Academy. And it's impossible to obtain new clues from them. Yeah, seems like it. Uh, hold on. What, what happened? I, I just noticed it right now, but... The file! His name isn't in there, right? There's supposed to be 16 names worth of profiles, but his name is the only one missing, right? Hmm? Who are you talking about? Nagito? Byakuya. I'm talking about Byakuya Togami. Oh. Well, I mean, that would make sense if Byakuya is from a different year. If he's like, if he's a, like, if he started... His profile would be in a his file would be in a different book or somewhere else if he started within a different year and those profiles were made before they attended school unless they were all the same age which I don't think they are Look carefully no matter where I look I don't see his name anywhere <laughs> No way So what if a name isn't written in that file perhaps based on that you think he might be the traitor no, it's not just because his name isn't written in here. The only, uh, that's not the only reason I think he's suspicious. He participating in the killing school life at Hope Speak Academy, right? For someone like him to be in a similar situation on this island, no matter what, it's definitely suspicious. Hmm. Well, it pains me to say this, but... What are you saying about the missing name and about the killing school life? It's totally wrong. There's a completely different reason. A different reason? How should I put this? You guys have been getting all worked up about that Biakia for no reason. Which means the great mystery that you think surrounds that Biakia doesn't exist. You're basing it on the one person's cheap speculation. What do you mean? You don't have to ask me that. You know the answer just by looking through the profiles, right? Huh? My eyes turned back to the file. One by one, I started flipping through the pages and confirming the names. And suddenly, I came across a page that was filled with question marks. The ultimate imposter? What? Okay, this is even more weird than, than Mukuro. Every section was filled with question marks. It could barely be considered a student profile. On that page, I was only able to confirm one thing. Ultimate imposter. That's that Byakuya's true identity. True identity? He was a fake that was pretending to be ultimate affluent prodigy Byakuya Tokagami. A, a fake? The fact that his profile was filled with question marks isn't is it a mistake or oversight. Surprisingly though, there's the correct information regarding him. The ultimate imposter has no name, no permanent address, and not even his age or gender is known. Basically he doesn't exist. Because he doesn't exist, he isn't able, uh, he isn't able to exist as anybody. That's his talent, he, uh, though I'm not jealous of that at all. That person wasn't really Byakuya? Byakuya? Why can't I say the name? Byakuya. Is that why he was, uh, is that why he was so much fatter compared to him? <laughs> well, goddamn. Ease up, Chiaki. Holy shit. Is that why he was so much fatter compared to when he was involved in the killing school life? Oh, cool! His, phys his physique doesn't affect his ability to fool others at all. Real imposters are skilled like that. Then, he was lying to us the whole time. But, he couldn't help it. What? Why couldn't he help oh. it? Cause that was his talent. Huh? Well, having talent means you're also bound to that talent. The moment you obtain talent, the way your life has already begun- be Wait, what? The moment you obtain talent, your way of life has already been chosen for you. You can't do anything ex uh, else except rely on that talent. Regardless of whether you want to- uh, Regardless of whether you want that life or not. 
In that sense, compared to the other ultimates, your life might be a bit more liberating. What the hell? Anyway. Mm, anyways, I'm not happy that you guys fell for a scam I had nothing to do with. So, I'll tell you straight up, the revelation about Piakia is actually the truth. Then, what was he trying to say to me that time? I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn for a long time, my life has been a living hell. Mm, based on the context, if I had to no, guess, no. maybe he was just complicating that he was cursed to wander the earth as nothing more than a fraud. <laughs> but if you guys had your school memories, you never would have betrayed. Uh, you oh, fuck. If you had your school memories, back damn it. If you had your school memories, you never would have been betrayed in the first place. I mean, it'd be different if you were meeting him for the first time. But since you guys went to Hostby Academy, you should have known about the ultimate imposter already. So in the end, it all leads back to memory loss. Jeez, the Future Foundation sure is awful. There's no way you should ignore Monomi or the traitor. Who is it? Who's the traitor? Just from looking at these 16 profiles, I still wouldn't know who's, who's from Future Foundation. Is there really someone like that? Of course. Well, obviously, you wouldn't know. I made the file so you guys couldn't find out. So, it's just as I thought. You're the one who did it. Hey, um... The fact that there are 16 profiles in there is what's wrong. Hmm. I mean, the traitor's a spy sent from the Future Foundation, not a student from Hulk's Peak Academy. You, you made a fake profile for the traitor and included it in here? Correct. It wouldn't be fun if you figured out who the traitor was so easily, right? Hey, hey. Then we can't use this file to figure out who the traitor is. That was the true, uh, that was true for Nagito too, right? Hmm. Well, probably. Host Week Academy files. <laughs> uh, you're stripping with despair, isn't it? You wasted your precious time on something that isn't a clue. Sure about this? Was that a wise decision? Time's up, you know. Time's up. Wait. Hi. Excuse me for the moment. Ah, shit. That's the chime, just now. What is most important for living things? Well, personally, I think time is. I mean, your bank account may go up and down, but time will inevitably run out, right? That's why we gotta cherish time. There is nothing more wasteful than wasting time. So... Time's up! We will begin the last class trial! So please gather at Monokuma Rock! <laughs> I'll see you soon! The last cro- Oh fuck, I can't even say the word class, I'm so tired. The last class trial? He said that, right? He said last class trial? Yep. Yeah, I heard it too. He really did say it was the last trial. What do you think? Should we believe him? Um... Monokuma seemed anxious about the Monokuma timer earlier, right? Two more days. And he said something about the killing school trip ending, right? Based on the time limit, that might be def- Uh, this might definitely be the last one. You know what? It, uh, you know what I find weird? I find weird that at the beginning of this whole entire investigation, Chiaki was acting really fucking weird, but now she's starting to act normal again, which is weird. So I don't... I... Mm, I'm starting to have doubts. Which is, which is again, weird. But still... But I can't imagine that it's a real end. Huh? I think Monokuma's real plan might be, uh, might be just beyond that. His real plan? Is Monokuma still planning to make us do something? What could it be? Maybe after putting us through all this, he's planning to kill the remaining survivors all at once. Well? But still, it's also not a good idea to think about it too much, I think. I think we should focus on the class trial that's waiting for us first. You're right. A class trial for Nagito's murder. We're pretty screwed. I haven't collected my thoughts because we were so focused on this file. I still can't see who killed Nagito. Still. Well... You don't have to worry so much. Huh? Right? I mean, we're not fighting this alone, you know? 
Don't give me that smile, Chiaki, because if you turn out to be the killer, I'm going to be really depressed. Uh, you're right. You're absolutely right. We're not alone. Even if it's a mystery that can't be solved alone, as long as everyone cooperates and works together. Yeah, if we do that, things will turn out fine. Before we head to the class trial, I would like to check up on my pet. Oh, you doing good? Until next growth 719. Uh, I would like to see you evolve again. I would like to give you a present, but your hope meter is full. Anyways, we're at Monaco, Morocco. Damn right. Looks like everyone's here. Huh? huh? Is this it? Shouldn't there be more people? Damn it. Stop it. You're making me depressed. Stupid fool. <laughs> uh, Nekamaru. Um. So, it's gonna happen again. The cruel conflict where we must doubt our friends. <laughs> but once we're through with this, we can go back, right? right? That Monokuma bastard said so, didn't he? He said this is the last class trial. Damn it. But we've been tricked every step of the way. There's no way I can't believe that so easily. Of course not! Why can't you believe it? The guy who makes us do all this thing is the one saying it, you know? You know, right? That's why I'll definitely survive. If we can really go home after we deal with this class trial, right. I'll definitely find out who the killer is no matter what. Even if I have to pull out all the stops. You... What the fuck? Why are you here? You haven't realized it yet? That feeling of wanting to leave this island? Thinking like this is Monokuma's trap, you know? Huh? Huh? What are you saying? Got it? There's no way Monokuma will end things here. He's planning something far worse. Ah! S stop trying to jinx us. I'll beat you up! Damn right, stupid rabbit should just shut up. Tricks are for kids, motherfucker. Everyone, you mustn't run away from despair. Huh? I finally realized after losing my powers. I realized that cursing your power wait what? That cursing your powerlessness on your fate accomplish accomplishes nothing. The possibility may be small, but as long as there's a possibility, you must face it. In order to become someone who can be proud of yourself. So I will fight. Huh? What's her deal? Um I don't really know, but she seems different from before. <laughs> Maybe she read a self-help book? Wait. But her eyes. She looked determined. You. Nah. What can you tell just by looking at those button eyes? Uh. Anyways, make sure you turn off, uh, Mini Maru. It'd be annoying if he started talking during the trial. Oh. Mm, fine. But still. <laughs> Mini Maru. I forgot that's what he called him. God damn it. Somehow I understand what Minomi's saying, I think. Anyways, let's get going to the last class trial. You're right. We need to fight as much as we can. No matter what hopeless truth waits us to the end. This is the end. I keep saying those words to myself over and over within my mind. I enter Monokuma Rock. Yeah. This elevator ride, this will be the last time for this too, right? I hope so. Well, Let's worry about things after we're finished. Right. More importantly, we must focus on the class trial before us. Damn. There's just fucking six of us, holy shit. The killer managed to kill someone like Nagito. There's no way this is going to go smoothly. I mean, I still can't believe one of us was able to do that. Um. Nagito was problematic in many ways, but he was also a valuable asset during the trials. Yeah, you're right. In fact, during the Funhouse ordeal, we were completely dependent on him. But even if, he, even if he's gone, the one who survived needs to stand and fight. 
we must fight. And then, the door slowly opened. That bright light greeting us. Is that the light of hope? Or the light of despair? Well now! Well then, now that the chatterbox Nagito is gone, there's only six of you left. Shut the hell up! Enough. Just fucking start it already. Hey! Hey. This is this is it, right? This is really the last class trial, right? Yep. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> so you gotta show some enthusiasm and make sure you give it your all. Alright! Didn't I tell you? He said it. This is the end. Now then. Now then. Let's get this trial started. Viva killing! This is the last class trial. Let's show some enthusiasm and kill each other. This is the fifth class trial. According to Monokuma, this is also the last class trial. That curtain is about to rise. Nagito Komaeda, the ultimate lucky student. When I first met him, I thought he was a nice guy. He came across as very sociable. But his true nature held such a demented thought process that was nothing like his outward appearance. He said he believed in hope more than anything else. He said he was yearning for a powerful hope that can overcome any despair. He said he would even help despair just to prove that hope will never lose to despair. And he said he'd become a stepping stone for hope. His way of thinking was completely screwed up. But there was also times he saved us too. Someone like him was killed. That was the end of him. And I have no idea at all who did it, but... There's no way we can end this without knowing. We will be consumed by despair. That's why we absolutely have to find out. The person who finished off Nagito. The killer who murdered Nagito. In order to return from this despair alive, we need to reach the truth. And if Monokuma says this is really the last class trial, that's all the more reason we need to do this. And so, this life-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, the last one, has begun.